I'll bet this one is the first one she ever sold. Oh. It's late. I'm sorry I fell asleep. I fell asleep too. Does falling asleep mean that we've finally gotten each other out of our system? No. It means we are both tired. Your office called. Because you called in sick, they wanted to know if you were all right. Are you all right? Tom. If, um, I hadn't acted like an idiot, would this have happened? You were just being you. Sometimes a man thinks that he has to prove himself by being with a lot of women. Tom, if you're going to tell me about your infidelities, I will have to leave you forever. Chloe's teacher would like to talk to you. Are you in love with him? If I am, I'll get over it. Yeah. We were in love once upon a time. We got over it. near my wife again and I'll kill you. Hey, Pop. What's the matter? My brother Phil just called me from the grave. He said to stay away from Edie or kill me. You were dreaming, Pop. Nah. Uh. She doesn't want me anyway. Doesn't think we're compatible. No, don't do that. Let me make you breakfast. Hi. I'm not leaving because I'm angry or mad or anything. I want you to be free to make up your mind. Where are you going? My mom's. I'll have the rest of my clothes picked up later. Your mother gives you hives. What, what are you doing? Not this time. It's time I face up to her. See, I'm not as dumb as you think. I think you're the smartest person around here. Well, uh, wait a minute. Now, shouldn't we be talking about this? No, I've made up my mind. Well, at least let me help you here. You can help me get a cab.
So how did you pick Daco last night? Can you keep a secret? Yeah, sure. So can I. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Hardy. Good morning, Chloe. Did you want to talk to me? Mm -hmm. Would you take over for a while, Elaine? Mm -hmm. I am concerned about Chloe's arm. She has a scratch. She said Excuse it, me. She said that Leonard Pearson did it to her. You know, it's time for us to do some serious sharing and interfacing about Chloe, Mrs. Hardy. Can I offer you a cup of decaf? So what do you think? Is this beautiful or what? Is it gorgeous? Isn't it great? Leather? The whole thing. What do you say we go for a ride? I'll go grab the keys, huh? Come on, come on. I'll get the keys off you right back. This is it. I can feel it. I can smell it. I'm telling you, I'm taking him for a test drive. You hear what I'm saying? I know it. I sell this beaver. I'm off to Vegas. I'm going, man. I got him. I got him, got him, got him! Oh, my God, my God. Yo, Mel, can you open up that window? I want to take the 750 for a test drive. Can I tantalize you with something in the meantime? I'm here to see Tom. A mistake, but I'll be right back. Hi. So, you're finally buying a car. <laughs> Thinking about it. Hey, I'll see you later. I'll be right back. Got it definitely under control. I left Larry. It was really great. It was great. It wasn't so great. What are you talking about? It was great. No, it was different. Well, it's different in a bed. No, it's not the bed. It's different. You're different. Well, it's different now that you're, um... Now that I'm what? Now that you're, uh, on your own. Oh, my God. I just realized something. You're one of those men who can only do this because you're married. You're not interested in anyone that you'd have to have some Calm responsibility down. to. You know, I'm up for a new position in the fashion office, and I took time out today because I thought that maybe you... You thought that maybe I'd what? Nothing. There's a run in my pantyhose. What's the matter with you? I'm being tested and punished for my stupidity. Oh, I deserve this. 